Wake up. It's Brian and Tracy. Yes. Um, we, this British guy on Instagram named William Hansen, he's an etiquette expert. Uh-huh. And he wants us to know that we've been eating green peas wrong our entire life. Yeah. He says most people scoop or shovel them with their fork. He says that's wrong and we should be embarrassed and ashamed. Yeah, you love that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't just spear each pea individually, though. Uh, but he says the proper technique is to use your knife to gather some of the peas and then act like a backboard. And you hold them there and then you spear a whole bunch of them all at once. That uh-huh. way they won't slide all over the plate. And that's the way you do that. Like a shish kebab. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, he doesn't know what he's talking. Here's how we no. do it. Here's how I do it. You take your mashed potatoes uh-huh. and you split it into two and you form them into levees. Uh-huh. Right? Creating a little funnel off the edge of the plate. Uh-huh. And then that way when you pick up the plate and you hold the plate to your mouth, all the peas can funnel between your mashed potato levees. That's the way we do it in Texas. <laughs> Celebrate the season at the annual Christmas Fair in downtown Huntsville. It's going to be a big day on Saturday, December the 2nd from 10 to 5. Uh, they're going to have all kinds of great things going on downtown on the square. Yeah, they're going to have train rides also for Ooh. the kiddies and also kinds different kinds of activities. And they can see Santa while browsing. I think that's awesome. And then yep. you can play there when you know when getting hungry. That'd be fun. Vendors, everything, including local restaurants. And of course, uh, after that is over with, we'll have the lighted Christmas parade from the Lions Club downtown. And of course, we'll be streaming it live on the KSM YouTube channel again this year. So it's going to be a ton of fun on December the 2nd. We have more info online at KSAM1017.com. Cody Johnson on your hometown radio station, 101.7 KSAM. Good morning. I'm Carlos Zimmerman. Glad to have you with me on the Midday Show, wherever you may be. Got your uh, Southeast Texas weather forecast coming up in just a few moments. Also got Keith Urban and Dylan Scott around the corner as well. Well, a new study has found, folks, that keeping secrets isn't always bad, particularly if it's good news. In those cases, keeping the secret can make people feel more energized and alive. However, it is still difficult to keep secrets. 76% of people want to tell someone immediately, even if it is good news. But keeping positive secrets can give people a lift because rather than worrying about it, they're spending the time imagining the exciting moment when the secret is revealed. The researchers decided to focus on positive secrets because most of the existing studies on secrets involve things we're pressured to keep quiet about. Yeah, positive things. Keep it positive. Right? That's Colin Ray and Love Me. Part of 90s at Noon on 101.7 KSAM. I'm Carlos Zimmerman. Hope you all are doing well on this Wednesday. Your uh, weather forecast is coming right up and also still in this hour of 90s country. We got Deanna Carter on the way, Pam Tillis, and Trace Edkins coming up this hour as well. It's time for a food story. The folks at Rover.com have released its annual list of the most popular dog and cat names. Bear with me. This will turn into food, I promise. Um, And once again, everyone is naming their dogs Charlie, Max, Luna, and Bella. And they're naming their cats Luna, Milo, Oliver, and Leo. Because, of course, uh, the more interesting parts of the report are the unique names people are choosing. And in 2023, names inspired by food and drinks are big. See, I told you I would spin it in the food at some point. For dogs, the name Beer is up 330%. Other trending names include Green Bean, Cheerios, S'more, Tiramisu, Parsley, Ice Cream, and Baguette. Who's naming their dog Baguette? <laughs> Uh, The reports are rather comprehensive. They include pet names supposedly inspired by sports, TV, movies, music, video games, British royals, tech, politics, and even the pandemic. All right. If you're naming your dog or cat COVID, you are just mean. I'm just throwing that out there. Or Corona. Now, if you're talking about the beer, that's different. But if you're talking about coronavirus, goodness. Come on. Mitchell Tenpenny and we got history on KSAM. Good afternoon. I'm Big Glenn. Your forecast is coming up. So, uh, check this out. Okay, sometimes kids can be a little sneaky, right? So, this is what we got going on these days. Christmas lists, PowerPoint now is becoming a thing. Yeah, have you heard about this? Uh, some of the ones that uh, I've kind of seen earlier this week seem yeah, not too bad. So, the idea is this. To present your parents with the most organized way possible, a list of what you want, and you're going to up your chances of getting more stuff if you do it like this. You also want to make it buying easy for them because we're going to give you the links, mom and dad. 
Click on that link and there you go. Now it's not a brand new idea. A kid's PowerPoint wish list went viral last year as well. What do you think? Good, bad, and different? Hey, it's the sign of the times, right? Kelsey Bellarini on KSAM. Good afternoon. I'm Big Len Edwards. Thanks for being with us today. Your forecast coming up in a few moments. So let me ask you, how do you feel about tipping? Well, according to a recent study, the average American tips at least five people a week. And a lot of us have tipping fatigue right now. Matter of fact, 53% of people that took this t poll says, yeah, we're fed up with it. So why do we leave a tip when we really don't want to? Well, apparently 43% don't want to look like they're a jerk. 34% don't want to seem cheap. Now, 70% of us feel guilty if we don't leave a tip, especially if the person is standing right in front of us. Now, we're still tipping waiters and waitresses more than we ever were pre-pandemic, but it's fallen off some. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, and I've said this before, my dear mother, uh, she raised my sister and I on the salary of a waitress. So tips were always important for, for, for our family, right? Uh, and she did a great job. So with that being said, anytime that uh, my bride and I go out, we tip and we tip close to 20%, if not a little more. Why? Because it's the right thing to do. Now, uh, do we tip when we don't get a good, good service? Uh, yes, but we would tell them, hey, here's your X dollars and your service really sucked. Maybe you ought to try better next time. <laughs> what do you think about that, huh? Miranda Lambert. Here on 101.7, KSAM playing today's best country and all of your favorites. Well, if you're an Amazon Prime addict, luckily I am not one of those people, you might hit up the Amazon website to, you know, grab a few things here or there. A pair of socks, some picture hanging strips, you know, the command strips, whatever. Another phone charger, because everybody keeps losing those. And why not? Get yourself a 2024 Hyundai Elantra. I drive an Elantra myself. It's way too old. <laughs> but apparently, Amazon is about to start selling cars and SUVs, and their first deal is with Hyundai. But unfortunately, the gray Amazon vans won't be towing them up to your driveway within two days. I know, it's sad. <laughs> It'll just be a way for you to order a Hyundai online. They don't want to screw the dealerships, so you'll only be able to order what your local dealership has in stock, then you have to go to the dealership to pick it up. So the question is, why even buy it through Amazon, right? I I don't get it, just buy it from the dealer itself. Apparently the goal is to make the experience as seamless as possible and let buyers clearly see all their financing options. I still don't get it. Even if it's only useful for minimizing interactions with cars, car salesmen, you know, anxiety, whatever. I would say count me in, but again, I don't, I don't see the point in it. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but if I don't buy a car, I'm not buying a car off of Amazon. I'm going to go to the dealership. I'm going to test drive it and do all that. Because, duh. <laughs> 